We're filling this top, notice it had leaked from the monsoon jet. So we found what better timing than right now to do a service training on how to repair a leaking monsoon jet. Oh yeah, you got it, that's good. Look at that leak. That drain a tub overnight. So what are we gonna do first? We're gonna get a sump pump, we're gonna drain the spot, we're gonna dry out the area of the jet that's leaking and uh, get it sealed up with some plastic weld. So give us a couple minutes to get prepared and uh, monsoon jet. Okay. Okay, so we, just, we found where the leak was in the spa. Now we drain the spa and we're gonna remove the jet. Now the only place for your jets to leak when they are leaking is going to be around this edge of your wall flange of the jet and the acrylic surface. It's the only spot that it can leak at all. So we're going to take a look around this glued surface right here and see if we can spot any holes or areas where it's going to be leaking from, which I've previously done and found that the hole is right down here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a knife or a Dremel tool, if you're careful, use a Dremel, and clean up any abrasions that are in the area so that you have a nice clean area for applying a new bead of plastic weld. So we've got that all cleaned out. You want to dry the area off. You're going to take note as well that inside of the crevice or cavern where the water is leaking from is going to have water in it as well. So we're going to get it dried out. Not as best as you can, but completely dry. So we can apply the plastic weld. Take your plastic weld gun, a little bit out so it's already mixed. And we're going to inject it into that cavern. Kind of like a filling. You pack it in there a bit. If you ever did mechanics, it's like packing bearings. Jet back in. We'll wait probably about 20 and a half an hour and we can fill it up again and uh, start going.